Greg Scrib holds the ball aloft. We're set to go. Tigers to the left of screen. Essendon Richmond, Somerville in his hundredth. Knights can't get through the middle. Off the ground, Somerville. Free kick, no, out wide. Taken by Alessio. Tackle on him by Whitney. O'Donnell high tackle, free kick surely. Quickly plays on. Neat looking kick to fall forward. Ricochets away, some good defensive work by Burke. Free kick, no. The effort by Burke was pretty good at the start, Bruce, but then in getting the effective punch away fell into the back of the young fellow there, who debuted so very well last week in Matthew Lloyd. 17 years of age. Could he kick the opening goal? He had a couple of chances early last week and he looked very, very nervous. Still a teenager. Kicked 2-3 last week from 50. Let's go. It's right there. Salmon's up there. And there's a free kick and it's a Richmond free kick. And Turner's going to take it from well, fullback. That squares the ledger. I thought David Burke was a bit hard done by with that uh, free kick to young Lloyd. But uh, this is Turner for the Tigers in the goal square. He goes pretty well straight down the ground. Gets good distance outside 50. Mark has been taken by Charles. Effervescent. Justin Charles gets the handball away to Campbell. Campbell runs down the ground. Gets near the wing. Not a bad little kick either. Waited beautifully. And the mark is taken by Bond. Bond, very much a key player for Richmond. Last week in a tagging role. Didn't get many possessions. Maybe free running. He'll be all right. Kicks to the pocket. Daffy, tackled by Somerville. Down goes Daffy. Away goes Wangana. He's tackled and dispossessed. Harvey's in a bit of trouble. Through goes Barry Young. Short kick by that player. And the mark has been taken by Lloyd. Lloyd, who had the first shot at goal, up the other end of the ground. His kick, nearly taken by Mercury. Gets back onto his left. Then swings a hanging hand pass. Denham, able to get it back to Mercury. Good play by Mercury. Gave the hand pass and then provided the target. He's kicked the half forward. Nearly taken by Tate. Kicked forward by Ola Renshaw. Into the path there of Salmon. Hand pass. Simons struggles. Can't quite take possession. Rogers overruns it. Simons goes in once again. A real struggle for possession in the right forward pocket for Essendon. And umpire Sheehan will bounce about 25 metres from the bomber goal. Yes, now Gary O'Donnell has swapped. Uh, he's now picking up Campbell. Bond has got prior. Currently 16, going for 17. Perfect condition. Salmon, good tap. Campbell tries to run away. Gone, holding the footy. O'Donnell's got him. Campbell can't believe it. 50 metres against the Tigers. Campbell tried to break away from the tackle by O'Donnell. He couldn't. And O'Donnell, with a 50-metre penalty, will kick the opening goal of the match. Had his most productive season, actually, kicking goals this year, O'Donnell. He's got it. Essendon with the opening goal. And he's such an important player, Bruce. Last week just showed his quality. His original free hit was a very good tackle by O'Donnell. Just pinned the arms there. Didn't allow Campbell to get that ball away. So it was a great decision. You don't get the 50 there. But O'Donnell, not only does he get the ball, but he has such quality use of it with the handball or kicking. Pretty good play. Somerville in the ruck. Already mentioned, playing his 100th game, Peter Somerville. Quite a few people at uh, Essendon may have wondered as to whether he would have achieved that earlier in his career. Free kick out of the centre, and it will be taken by Deer. Greg Deer, what a Trojan he's been for the Tigers. He's kicked a half forward. Was that a push out? No. Clean mark, been paid to Fletcher. Fletcher's at centre half back. He kicks back towards the centre of the ground. Up over the top, Alessio. The problem for Richmond will be these tall players. Some of Alessio and Salmon. He kicks. Looks forward for Barry Young. Couldn't take the mark. Chance for Denham. Gets the hand pass into the clear. Ola Renshaw's kick forward. Oh, well done by Turner. A bit of bustling by both players. And Turner rakes it in with his left hand. Kick short. Close to the line. Mark is taken out there by Bauer. Bauer runs close to the boundary line. His kick will land near the wing. That's punched away by O'Connor from Charles. Clear for a throw-in. 
magnificent crowd in pretty good conditions at the MCG for a knockout final. Howard, Maxfield and Prescott on the bench at the moment for Richmond and the boundary throw in between wing and left half forward for Essendon. Deer Lake getting there. Bond now matching up on O'Donnell. Campbell, that one's a ball up. And Knights Bond, see Bond trying to take the roll with uh, the O'Donnell matchup. Mm, Pryor just de delivered a little uh, short left. And I don't think Wayne Campbell was too impressed with that. Centre wing, Essendon with the opening goal. Richmond have got it forward a couple of times. Thompson to half forward. Deer, Somerville leaning back on him. Bouncing ball, Kellaway. He's got the job on Hurd out of play. You talk about key matchups. What about that, Kellaway? And James Hurd, terrific contest. Well, last time uh, Robbo Hurd took 15 marks, and then last week took, took 10, so he's vital cross half forward there. Let's have a look at Masidi Cowthorpe and Dillon on the bench for Essendon. Hurd, Denham, quick kick, not bad this, a chance, just misses. A behind. Essendon seem to have settled a bit better. They're 1-1. Richmond yet to score. Cockatoo Collins and Danny Corcoran on the bench also for Essendon. So Essendon keeping their injured players busy. And very, very active, obviously. Turner now for Richmond. Gets another good kick away. 65 metres towards the centre. Hand pass provided by Rogers for Knights. On to Whitney. Whitney sidesteps, set back to centre half forward. It's punched away. Barry Young goes down. In goes Denham again. Gets the handball to Wanganin. Wanganin across his left shoulder. It's high back towards the centre of the ground. Now the opportunity for Esther to force it forward through Mercury. And the mark taken by Salmon. 25 metres out, directly in front. And Mercury gets a pat there of congratulations from O'Donnell. So he should too, Robert. That's the importance of getting the ball quickly to boot. And if your forwards are playing in front, they get the opportunity every time. There it is, just quickly forward, directed towards the square. Salmon, if he's in front, every chance. So Salmon does take a long time in his preparation, but uh, you would consider this to be a vital kick. Early in a final, you get the chances, you've got to nail them. Salmon goes for goal. It is a goal to Essendon, their second. Goal each to Salmon and O'Donnell. And Essendon lead, they're 2-1. And significantly, Richmond yet to score. Yes, we mentioned pre-game, Robert, that he's the player that could be the key to Essendon. Coming into this game in 12 finals, he's kicked 33 goals. And here we see this quick kick by McCurry. Just important to get ball to boot quickly. Forwards in front. And a chance at goal. Back in the centre. 2-1. Yet to score, Richmond. Bombers by 13 points. Must win it out of the centre here. Richmond with Broderick. Campbell and Knights now in there. Prior matching up with Knights. Yeah, Bruce Essen have gone six times inside their 50. Richmond only twice. Campbell after Bond. High tackle, free kick. At centre half back. He's going to push it out wide. Gets there. Tape away. Measures the kick to half forward. Charles the target. He worked O'Connor underneath it. Thompson. Good little give actually. The Wanganin is away. Takes Charles up with one. On the left foot. Tries to get it past Bond, gets it to Hurd, first real touch, brought down, free kick. Hurd's free kick at centre wing. Killaway all over it. Hurd to full forward. Sam on the target with Lloyd. Just turn on the back. Alessio, McCurry. He can kick this under pressure. Great tackle by Rogers at the back. Pick up now by Turner. This might get the Tigers going. Turner's kicks a beauty. Out to half back to Bond. That could lift the Tigers. Bond now at half-back flank. Yet to score, Richmond. Essendon with 2-1. Essendon doing well around the middle of the ground with their matchups. No one for Bond to kick to. Now he's been called to play on. Has to kick it high. And a terrific loop of mark taken by Young. Nearly run down, but he gets his kick away. Back towards centre-half forward. The ball in dispute. No, it's no longer. Matthew Knight's tidies up for the Tigers. Kicks it high. 
Tries to wait it for Deer. Deer lumbering. Somerville making ground. The bounce is very awkward for Greg Deer. And Somerville handballs it back only as far as Bauer. Short kick by that player finds Rogers. Tigers need to move it quickly. They get it to Campbell, their playmaker. Campbell's kick is an absolute cracker. Right onto the chest of Nash. Nash is too far out to score. Goes into the pocket again. The angle is difficult. Back there is Fletcher. Gets the handball away. Ola Renshaw's got back there to help the defence out. He runs across the square. Oh, the bounce did not come back to him. He's able to recover his position and then kick short and finds Grenvold. Grenvold is still in the back pocket. He kicks into the middle of the ground. Go, Rogers! He does. Can't take the mark. The ball spills. Michael Gale and Harvey. Broderick, too short. Miranda pumps it back for Richmond. But Grenvold, he's a reliable defender, is David Grenvold. And he kicks it wide. Out there making good position is Young. Young will go forward for the Bombers. With one bounce, left foot now. Gets it almost 250. Kellaway and Hearn. Kellaway tries to break the Simons tackle. He could. Now Alessio. He's got some options. Goes inside to Denham. Now Salmon wants it deep. Denham kicks it in that direction. Turn it in pretty well. He may have to concede he does. And behind. Tremendous pressure there. Mercury roving brilliantly across the pocket with Salmon. 2-2, yet to score. That's the line with Essendon leading. Rogers presents himself beautifully. Turner's kick was outstanding. Rogers on the left to Michael Gale. Couldn't take it. Harvey doing all right early. Gale with him. That's a good matchup. Gale breaks one, breaks two. Steadies himself. Inside 50, all right. O'Connor and Charles. Well played, O'Connor to the boundary line. Out of play. It's 14 Essendon, Richmond yet to score. Interesting tactic John North is using with uh, Michael Gar running him across half foot, almost as a centre half foot, being picked up by Harvey Charles, filling the gap. Essendon odds on favourites to win this game. O'Connor doing the ruck work, he's caught, gets the hand pass away. This is Wanganeen across the half back line, takes a bit of a punt, kicks it out into the path there of Fletcher. He's taken a gamble, running all the way down off uh, Brendan Gale. Kick has been smothered. This might be costly. Can the Tigers take possession? It's Greg Deer into the pocket. Too high there for Brendan Gale. It was a poor kick. Wanganeen is there. Mops up beautifully. Short pass. Awkward bounce. Very, very awkward for Simons. Nash nearly made something of it. Somerville is back there. Nearly caught. Handball away. The ball is bouncing awkwardly. Pryor is there for Essendon. His left foot kick is a tumbler and lands the chest of Rogers, but not paid. Bond. Matthew Knights. Go, Matthew Knights, say the Tigers fans. Can he kick a goal? Matthew Knights! It's there! The Tigers have got there first. And if ever anything is going to lift Richmond, it's that sort of thing. A goal to Matthew Knights. Magnificent play. Good decision by the umpire. Didn't pay the mark, paid the free kick, played the advantage. Knight scooped on it. He's been having to deal with Denham for the part of this game so far. Magnificent skills. What a lifter. Two-two to a goal. Matthew Knight's the goal scorer. He's playing out of the centre bounces for Richmond. Broderick's little give over the top now by Knight. Good play. Bond to Bauer to set a half forward. Gale's got to take one. At the back was Fletcher. Reading it well. Thompson to Fletcher. Little one okay to O'Connor at half back. But suddenly Richmond have found their feet, haven't they? O'Connor's kick in the direction of Alessio. Too tall for Whitney. Heard running on for him. Salmon goes now. He kicks it towards him. Turner gets back there. Bouncing footy away. Tate. Quick kick to half back, hoping that it'll go out. Pryor's there, a bouncing ball. Pryor missed it. And Burke runs it close to the line and out of play. Richmond let off. David Burke called in today along with John Howard with Jerika and Bullis missing out with injuries. Michael Long missed out for Essendon with his injury and replaced by Joe Masudi. The throw in. Tap was by Broderick to Deer. It's unusual. Now Campbell at halfback can steady, measure it, touches it on the ground, uncertain, goes short, good kick. He waited for the right option. Well, it was good play by Wayne Campbell instead of just blasting away. 
Tried to set something up, but still take with no one to kick to. Now he can go short. This is measured all right to Michael Gale, just in front of Harvey. Gee, ten years ago, you'd have seen Harvey go crashing through Michael Gale then in a final, but of course you're not allowed to do that now. The kick to half forward, 50 metres from the Richmond goal. Somerville gets the hand pass away. Wanganeen again assesses and then delivers. Fletcher getting a few touches, running away from full back. He kicks wide, out towards the wing, it's too short. And the mark is taken down here on the wing by Rogers. He's had a few possessions early. Rogers, one kick, that's his second kick, two handballs towards full forward. Contest, Denham, handball out wide. Fletcher, advantage paid. This is Oliver Enshaw. Tries to duck back onto his favourite left foot. Brilliantly smothered. Matthew Knights. Oh, go Miranda. He's going to kick a goal, is he? No. Poor kick at the finish. And it lands on the chest of Wanganeen. Wanganeen is only four metres, five metres out from the Richmond goal. And in the finish, it was a poor kick by Miranda. But, uh, of course, he's an inexperienced player as far as AFL is concerned. And he's still learning the caper. Pressure still there by both sides. Away goes Denham. Six kicks Wanganeen in the opening half of the uh, first term. Alessio, the target, he's got it. Good take. Hasn't he started well? Halfway between uh, centre wing and half back. Gets it up to half forward. McCurry and Lloyd. Very good take by Lloyd. Oh, be careful, young Burke. The two kids playing on one another here, Burke and Lloyd. A couple of rookies, goes to Salmon. He sits and waits, Salmon. Turner onto him. Salmon tries to push it back. Chance for Bauer, quick give, okay. Broderick sweeps, so elegant. Goes to Deer, had to go, did very well actually. Made a contest, gave Rogers a run of it with a third bounce. Now measures inside, Marinda the target. He can get up, he had to. Essendon had the front, tops are not paid. They're calling for a free kick. Wanganeen runs it to the boundary and runs it out deliberately. No free kick. He made no effort to keep it in. Very young situation, Dipper. Yes, Bruce, he's lift off the ground. Looks like he's rolled his ankle, and they're quite concerned about his ankle at the moment. Boundary throw in. Ruck contest, Harvey. Spins out, he's gone. Gee, I quite wonder why Thompson wasn't penalised for holding the ball if he wasn't awarded the mark. Well, should, they should have been awarded the mark first of all, Robbo, I thought. Down to the wing, mark taken by Grenville. Daffy just a little late. Hand pass away, Denham. Denham across the sponsor's logo, kicks towards half forward. Good pass, good mark taken by Hurd. Hurd will always look at danger. Such a creative player. His kick towards Salmon, couldn't take it. Burke, Campbell. Spills out Mercury. This should be a goal. Sure. Oh, Simons overruns it. And a given a behind away by Campbell. A rush one. And gee whiz. I think Michael Simons would like to have another look at that. I don't think he realised he had so much time. It was good play by Simon to trap the ball back into play and then knock it toward goal. Clever stuff. Two Richmond players hip and shoulder one another out of it. Five metres behind him. Simons wasn't aware. There's a comedy of errors for a moment there as Bauer kicks from the back pocket to centre wing. Kellaway, good take. He wants to go inside. Essendon hold him up. Knights running for him. Knights has been good early. Kick to Bond. Bond can run away. He does now. Kicks towards centre half forward. Gale the target. He had a fair bit of it. Grenville was in the front. O'Connor's kick was okay to Grenville. Denham had to get rid of it in a hurry. Broderick. Oh, he's so good. Look at that to beauty to Daffy and this is what he's getting paid to do Daffy that's kick goals but also the important as you said Bruce of Broderick's use of the ball just didn't turn and blaze with his non-preferred right towards the square just chip short that's the right option could kick this Daffy kick more goals this season for Richmond than anybody else 42 goals for the year it's a floater it's close it's a hook in the end so it's a disappointing result, out of bounds in the pocket. Daffy and Nash have got to be busy up forward. They've got to get goals from them, the Crummers. Wanganeen doing a job back there at the moment on Nash. Left forward pocket. Richmond needing another one. Somerville over the back. Sitting, waiting, Wanganeen out of play once again. Bruce, while I was down on the boundary line uh, before the game started, just that uh, blustery breeze blowing, which is... Uh, 
going to create a little problem for the players as the ball comes in for marking contests. And here's Wengenen again. Gee, isn't he a good player? He's kicking towards the centre, and the mark is taken by Mercury. Mercury is behind the centre. His kick will go forward. And no, not taken there by Alessio. Gaffey just a little slow there. Now Denham finds a path and weaves his way through. Denham from 50, kicks long, it's covered and gone through for Essendon's third goal. Denham is the goal scorer, but there was some good work done on the goal line. Essendon 3-3, three, three, Lee Richmond one goal. Magnificent play here. Aliso got back onto the contest having dropped that mark and then there's just that little bit of a space for Devon to go through and his pace gets him through. Settles, had the option to go wide to Simons. Great goal. Nine touches, Denham. Fantastic goal. 3-3 three, three to one goal. Knights from the centre with one bounce. Takes O'Connor on. Could he squeeze another one? Let's go. He's close. He's got it. Sensational! That's his opponent, Denham. One for one. Well, that is a counter punch like no other. Textbook stuff wasn't it, Bruce. Just straight through the middle. Bit of an awkward bounce there, but he's corrected himself beautifully. Never really looked like missing. He's now in the centre square, two nights. They played him out of the centre square. That's the first time he's been in the centre square all day. It's not bad. 100% record. Salmon goes into the centre square as well. Key player Paul Salmon able to go and give the big fellow a rest. As far as the ruck is concerned, Rick Deer's got to do it basically on his own. Daffy comes away. He's kicked towards full forward. Wanganin up high. Got rid of his opponent. Fletcher back onto his right foot. Tumbles a punt kick back towards the middle of the ground. Chance there for Bomber Thompson. Didn't he play a game last week? Marinda does well, though. Youthful legs by Marinda. Kick forward by Daffy. Towards the full forward area. Dropped by Gale. Wanganin's caught. Umpire calls play on. That's a kick off the ground by Naish. Just missed. Eventually rolls over for a behind to Richmond. Looks like O'Connor's in trouble, too. Maybe. Come off the ground. Limping badly. Dipper told us about Young early on. O'Connor leaving it. Oh, danger here. Knights, what a quarter of footy he's playing. Hasn't he turned it on? Chopping off the pass to Wanganee. That's where those kicks are so dangerous, Chris. They've got to be 100% on. He's kicked eight goals all season, Roscoe. He's about to kick his third in the opening term of this semi final. He was one midfielder we didn't talk about kicking goals. We talked about Broderick and Campbell and Maxfield. But here's Knights lining up from 40 metres. An important kick leans back. Close, hits the post. 2-1 for Knights. 2-2 two, two for the Tigers. Amazingly, Bruce, you would have thought maybe that Essendon had had the better of this first quarter. But if Knights had kicked that goal, it would have only been two points the margin. Two magnificent goals on the run, and then with a set shot, he misses and hits the woodwork. Kick in has been marked by Grenvold. Grenvold is still well inside Richmond's 50 metre area. Now the kick goes wide. Punched away by Charles from Salmon. And the boundary umpire will throw it in about 65 metres around from Richmond's goal. 3 3 plays 2 2. Essendon lead by seven points. And a very interesting first term when players in finals search each other out. Heard runs away, kicks back towards the middle of the ground. It spills to the back. The race is on now. Which one's the quickest? Campbell and O'Donnell. Campbell's got some support, but O'Donnell does well. Gets it back towards McCurry. Kicked off the ground. Wide towards the opposite back pocket area. Away goes Alessio. Couldn't take the mark. And Tate eventually forces it clear for a throw-in. Right forward pocket for Essendon, about 30, 35 metres around from their goal. 3-3 to 2-2, Essendon lead. And Alessio up against Wigney. Certainly centimetres advantage there. Well done, Bauer. 
Gets it back to Tate. Tate a short kick. Okay, well done, Greg Deere. Reflexes, they haven't left him yet. The kick down the boundary line. Looks for Broderick. Tackled by Calthorpe. Couldn't keep it in. And the umpire just down in front of us here on the wing will throw it in. And wouldn't he be a proud man? Francis Berg, father of David. James Hurd Robbers come to the back half, picking up Justin Charles now. 2 2 3 3. Jaffe under pressure goes to ground, gets it back, well played. Roderick, the smother was good though by Calthorpe. O'Connor's situation differ. Yeah, Bruce, a very disappointed uh, Ryan O'Connor, a hamstring. Well, that would be uh, it for the day, you'd think. O'Connor with a hammy. Rogers onto it. Does it well. He can kick a footy. He's under pressure. The give OK. Charles. Throwing, throwing the ball, so. Gee. When you handball over your head, there is a risk that you can be penalised for that. Harvey gets it. Oller Inshaw. Kellaway took a chance. Had to bring Oller Inshaw down, really. Still with him. Hassles him out of it. Well played, Kellaway. He's got runners. Marinda's been busy. He's given Bomber Thompson a handful. Inside to Gale. Good kick. It was a tough one. But big forwards take them in finals sometimes. Gale, Thompson, squeezes it out. Not far. Kellaway measures it. Good kick. Richmond are enjoying a very good passage of play. Slow start, but uh, I reckon they're on top at this stage. Charles from the pocket. Gee, Kevin Sheedy down. Brendan Gale had a fair bit of it, didn't he, a minute ago. About 25 metres out. He's had his hands on about five. Bruce just can't hold on to long enough. Justin Charles. He's played the last ten games straight for Richmond this season. Watch him get excited if he happens to kick this, Bruce. He likes a goal. He's an effervescent type, Justin Charles. Siren goes. This to close it right up from 45 metres. Goes. It's close. Disaster, Roscoe, into a very good quarter in the end. My word, that's a pressure kick. As Robbo said, he's excited. Quarter time in the Melbourne Cricket Ground, a full house. It's 3 2 Richmond, 3 3 Essendon.
semi-final between Richmond and Essen. It was a magnificent opening. Somerville in his hundred. Deere tried to lay it to Campbell. Olorenzo had it ripped away. Deere's kick. All on his own, though, Heard. Playing at centre-half back, as he did late in the first quarter. Measures a kick to Simons. Taps it towards Alessio. Back to Simons. Simons caught. Gets a handball away to Masidi. Punched away by Tate. Kellaway held on to. Should have got a free kick. Umpire was caught out of position. Masidi and Tate and Campbell. And out of play. Masidi playing because Long missed out. Didn't pass the fitness test. So Simons, Masidi and Calthorpe are into the Essendon team from last week's win over West Coast. Bullis and Jerika both dropped out at the last minute for Richmond. Replaced by Burke and Howard. Here's Knights under pressure. Taken to the ground. Essendon trying to with numbers, get it away. Richmond with Rogers holding them up. Rowan Soares will bounce the football at centre wing. Gee, you wonder sometimes when David Burke was penalised for pushing a player in the back in the first quarter, what has Matthew Knight's got to do? Richmond fans would look at it and It's wonder. all interpretation, Robo, isn't it? O'Donnell forces it forward. Smothered slightly off the boot. Messini's a chance. Can't get the handball clear. Campbell and Bond. Bond really very prominent there in locking the football up. Gee, we've seen him do some real good jobs on uh, top players over the years. Chris Bond, Ruckman go at it. Alessio down, but only as far as Knights. Denham there. Those tall players for Essendon, Somerville, Salmon and Alessio. They loom as a huge threat. Yeah, Doolan's now got the job running with Bond. Campbell dragged off the football. Kicked forward by Calthorpe. And in front is young Lloyd. He's proving a bit of a handful there for David Burke. David Burke appealing to the umpire for maybe a holding decision, but, uh, well, you wonder. The young Essendon player was in front and took a good mark. Well, that's what he did last week, Ian. He just got himself in front. He's quick and he's got beautiful hands. And he's not a bad kick either. Left foot up, very fluent. A couple of players left Essendon at the end of last year so that this boy could be a bomber player for a long time one would think. So let's see what he can do with this 30 metres out. A stuttering approach. And he's missed to the left. So a disappointing result there for Matthew Lloyd. Started the game quite nervously. There's Barry Young. And some names there on the uh, Essendon bench. Brian Wood, the runner. Darren Buick in the background. Kick in by Turner. He's pretty good. And he finds Callaway. Kellaway, they'll be pleased with him too. Heard was shifted away, maybe to get a kick at centre half back. Rogers was busy in the opening term. Almost trips himself up, comes very wide, the kick to Burke. It's got him now. Will Bauer run for him? He could hear now, should, could give a little one over the top. He does with a kick. Bauer to run on. Gail Deep wants it long. Bauer can go all the way. He could kick it. He doesn't. He kicks it out of bounds on the ball with McCurry in hot pursuit. He put a great tackle on McCurry earlier in the uh, match, so hard to be critical, Robbo. His leg's going a little faster than his brain there, Bruce, I think. It was all working. Oh, bad luck. He would have brought the house down he if he could, kicked the he goal. You could see the goals looming up, couldn't he? McCurry short to Doolan. Doolan for Essendon. Kicks across the half-back line. Wanganeen, magnificent. Setting up play. The kick back towards the middle of the ground. It's taken by McCurry. Was that a push? No. A struggle for possession here. Gale just off the ground. To the favour of himself, but chipping in is Simons. Now Harvey to help out. Harvey, a very, very experienced player in that Essendon team, but his kick is ordinary, and it's chopped off by Broderick. Goes with his right foot. Not too bad. Greg Deer is marked. He can play on. Oh, he's given it away. Come on, we're playing as he rules. Oh, he's just taken the football and protecting himself. Nothing wrong with that at all. to 
Jason in 4 4 place, 3 2. Interesting to hear the crowd going boring, boring in the whole time, but he made him play, didn't he? Gee, it's a critical decision by umpire Greg Scrib there to take the ball away from Deer. And it always looks worse after you've come through the elbows, lifted afterwards, nothing in that at all. Four, four to three, two, Salmon with a couple of goals through the centre, Miranda. On the left, a floater. Daffy and Gale are trying to get into the picture. Well played, Gale, to get rid of Harvey. The gives OK to Charles. Runs a fair way. Brings it back to full forward. Gale gives a free kick away. Poor football. Absolutely blatant. Frustrating, really. The poor Harvey. Got to do better than that. Fletcher to Thompson. And the bomber comes away, the captain, with a bounce. Out wide. Oliver Enshaw couldn't make it. Rogers has been good. To the pocket. Not so good in terms of the kick. Thompson to Harvey. Haven't they been together a fair while? Harvey and Thompson. They've passed the footy to one another in big games on this ground for a dozen years. Harvey's kicked the centre wing. Alessio paved the way. Simon's wider. McCurry sweeps it. Cowper will kick a goal. Steadies. 40 out. Kicks it. It's home. Yes, and the midfield running ability of Essendon could very well wear down that similar ability of Richmond. They start, they can get tied very quickly. If Campbell and Knights can't sustain their quality, the players like Denham and Calthorpe, who have enormous capacity to run all day, can cut you up. That's a perfect example of how. Just Roscoe Rogers kick over on that left half forward flank where Thompson got position of it again. Get hold of it in today's football you really have to do as much as you can to keep hold of it struggle for possession around the middle of the ground gale now matthew knights every time richmond looked as though they need something as a lifter it's knights can he kick his fourth third goal he gets inside well inside 50. this will bring the house down if you don't mind umpire it's a goal to matthew knights that is just absolutely what football is all about you'd go millions of miles to watch that sort of stuff Talk about the material of long type goals in the finals, grand finals. That's as good as anything you'll see. He had to Campbell running. There goes Campbell past him in support. And Knights, the clever thing, just went towards the flank and then had a drew a player toward him, then turned inside. O'Donnell didn't know whether to go towards Knights or follow Campbell. And what a finish. And twice. Sensational goal by Knights. 4-2 to 5-4, he's kicked three, and twice he's kicked goals after Essendon have got two in front. He's kicked the two most important goals of the game. O'Donnell, under pressure on the right foot out wide. Kellaway, got a bad bounce. Masidi onto it. To O'Donnell. O'Donnell squeezes as he always does to Cowper. Runs away, he was off. He was absolutely off. Play on now. Broderick onto him. Cowper's in trouble. He gets rid of Broderick with strength. He rides a hip and shoulder, he's out of play. He was saved by the boundary line. Richmond fans everywhere are going berserk, look at this. As Calvo hits the deck. He's kidding that umpire, Bruce. I think we need to give Robo a volume. Oh, come on. Throw it in the pocket. Killaway at the back. It's been a good game, hasn't it? Bond to centre wing. A bouncing footy. Essendon with the numbers. O'Donnell starting to gather kicks as he so often does. The accumulator gets it to Denham. Denham's been good, but Knights has been better. He was crunched. Kicks it inside 50. Oh, good grab. This boy's got a wonderful pair of hands. Has he got... Uh... No, he's going to go back and kick from 50. One thing that's let him down in his, uh, his game last week, uh, Matthew Lloyd. He kicked two points early, then squared it up yeah. with a goal in the second, then one in the third. But at least he's getting the footy. Oh, yeah, I've got no criticism. Yep. But, uh, gee whiz, if, he's been, if he had been able to capitalise last week and even today, he could have kicked something like six or seven goals in uh, finals football. Kicks from 50, the old bent knee, which will be his trademark, to the goal square. Punched away. Free kick. Free kick to Essendon. Alessio. It's Whitney, is it? Yes, to Alessio. Umpire Rowan Sawyer's the experienced umpire there, saying there was some... I think he indicated initially, or a shepherd. It. 
Tiger fans can't believe it. Courageous decision. Remember Salmon got a goal earlier in the quarter from a controversial free kick. Alessio scores the goal. Matthew Knights might have to kick another one, I think. Uh, Roscoe. Yes, and well, that's what the third umpire is there for to adjudicate in that situation to get close to the action if there is shepherding. Actually, ran across in front of him yeah. to make sure that he got his line. Yeah. Now the ball's not within five. It's not within five. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. So the Richmond fans chanting again. Boring. A couple of decisions have gone against them. Play goes on, 14 points is the margin. Important that Richmond maybe get the next goal. Greg Deer hacks it out of the air. Broderick and Calthorpe goes back to Masidi. He's polished, isn't he? Masidi. His kick will land in the arms there of Tate. Short kick by Tate. And Miranda marks just inside the boundary line. Goes in towards the centre of the ground. Whitney. Richmond trying to set something up out of defence. Whitney forced to go long. Contest there. Gale couldn't take the mark. Out comes Calthorpe. Hand pass along the boundary line. Masidi back. Well done. Calthorpe does equally as well with the kick. Tape attacks it. And is he going to get a free kick? No. Simon's the uh, excellent player in the contest. And a bit of uh, Jack Dyer there looking on by G. Wiz. Kicked nine goals the last time these two teams played in the final against one another. Chance for Broderick, well done. Into the path of Michael Gale. Goes with the left foot. Long, but offline. And through for a behind. Richmond could have done with that. 4-3, they trail Essendon, who are 6-4. And Maxfield preparing to come onto the ground. Harvey's gone to half forward to be picked up by Callaway and Hurd's back to centre half back, it looks. Simons to Doolan. Doolan at half back. Rogers should take it. Olorencio well played. Punches it away to the boundary line. About eight minutes remaining in the first half. Nash he hasn't uh, contributed. Replaced by Maxwell. Not a bad move either. Brendan Gale yet to touch the football. No mark, no kick, no handball, no score. Grenville at centre wing. Centres at the Harvey. Can't get back for Alessio. It falls into his arms at 50. And McKeary running. He's had a very good season. A goal scoring department, Alessio. Gee, give him some chance, Bruce, too. He's a, he is a big kick of the footy. Kicked a couple of important goals in a low scoring final at Waverley last week. Kicks from about 55. High, close, it's a goal. He's got it. That's a thumping kick. He's kicked that from 55 metres. Well, bad judge there, Robbo. Yes, he could have gone closer as well, but he just timed it beautifully. He had the carry. This young uh, Lloyd will come off the ground. He'll be replaced by Pryor. We'll see this mark again. Set up. Good quick hands. And David Grenville just giving the big fella every chance. Seven and a half minutes before half time in a knockout final at the MCG. Essendon leads 7 4 to 4 3. Grenville tries to get it towards Salmon. Salmon in the finish. Kicks it across his left shoulder towards half forward. Gale looks as though he might be playing in defence now. Tate kicks it towards Essendon's goal. Bauer gathers. Hand pass along the line. Alessio gathers. Kicks quickly. Could be out of bounds on the full it is. Free kick to be taken for the Tigers. In the left back pocket by Scotty Turner. Richmond, they've kicked four goals. Three of them through Matthew Knights. Turner's kick goes outside 50 metres. Campbell overruns it. O'Donnell caught. Gets the hand pass away. Denham swoops on it. Denham goes for goal. It's a goal. Bombers another nail in the Richmond coffin. Denham's second goal. And that break is very interesting now. 25 points 
with six and a half minutes left in the first half. Yes, and I wonder if a couple of those uh, dubious free kicks that have gone Essendon's way early in this quarter, particularly Salmon and Lesio taking advantage of them, gave them a bit of a sniff, and now they've just taken over. Could make all the difference. Eight, four, four, three. The big margin of the match so far. Deer got a hand on it. Knights again. Don't tell me he couldn't, could he? Goes from 55. It's right there, touched. It would have been another one. There's yeah, so John Northey's now moved Brendan Gale to centre half back on Alessio. Whitney going to centre half forward. Six minutes remaining. As Northey barks out the instructions, they must get a couple. You would think before half time, Richmond. Wouldn't want to be four behind Essendon at half time. Greenvold away, good kick to Simons. It's got him beautifully. Oh, he dropped it. He was into the sun. But still, look to have it completely covered. On to Thompson. Goes back. Denham, eighth kick. Not bad either. Gives his fours a chance. Pryor was there. Quick hands by Burke. Daffy ridden into the ground. Denham's handball was fantastic. Mercury let sail. Close. Very close. He's got another one. They're raining goals now. It's all happening, doesn't it? Just enough carry risk. The pressure on midfield, whilst Essendon made a few mistakes, Richmond are making more of them. And just some critical fumbles under pressure, just not having the options around, falling over the ball, and in the numbers on the rebound, in Essendon's favour. It's amazing, isn't it? Mercury gets the goal, but there was some good defensive work provided by a couple of his teammates back near the middle of the ground. Rogers misses the hand pass, then finds Miranda with his second chance. Miranda is on the wing. Two bounces. He can go again. He does. He's now had four bounces. Gets up to about 70 metres out, then kicks straight back towards Hurd. And Hurd makes no mistake there. He's marked about 25 metres out. Then he plays on. Gee, that's a bit of arrogance. Kicks in towards the middle of the ground. Thompson, he can kick wide. There's two players can raffle this for CD. Handball over the top, Oliver Inshaw. No, go short with the foot pass. Out into the path of Denham. Denham can go short. He's got Oliver Inshaw running, but he goes for goal and puts it into the square. The mark is taken by Turner. A couple of his teammates will be disappointed there, Denham. Rogers gets hold of it. Maxfield calling him to go on. Wanganin won't commit to go forward. Rogers has kicked, not bad to Gale, had to take it. Went with one hand, didn't. Simons goes to ground, Gale falls over. Maxfield's tackle was okay. Wanganin to mop up, as he usually does so cleverly. He's so patient, he won't give it away. He gives it to Hurd. Concedes the ground, but refuses to panic. Hurd's kick turned over to Kellaway. Kellaway's kicked the centre half or Charles stretches, worked under the ball. Grinvold swoops. Maxwell was hard on him. Play on call. Fletcher gets uh, stuck into Maxwell. It's on behind play. Simons goes forward. Richmond have got to stop the rock. Broderick goes hard. Leave it for him, Greg Deer. Gives it to Knights. Knights at 60. Caught. Ball ricochets away. Mercedes and Doolan's in there. Knights with him. Gale. Richmond desperate. So are Essendon. And Essendon are going well. They're five in front. Well, that was a square off too, Bruce. Grenville not so good at the moment. Just caught him around the neck a bit. And his head hitting the ground would have, wouldn't have done him much good either. Dan and Wenganin gave it away. Signed a little one. And is that seven underneath all of that? The legs of a fish. <laughs> it was. Strange sort of fish. A big one, Roscoe. You'd be proud of a catch like that. 4-4-9-4. Four, four, four. Deer, Salmon. Salmon in the ruck. Deer probably just wins it. And Simon's happy with Michael Gale. Michael Simons back today. Michael Gale missed a number of matches. Nate's getting ready. Kick three early in the match against uh, North last week. Richmond are only able to kick one goal so far in this second term. Thompson tackled by Maxfield. Umpire allows play to go on. 
Still a congestion, Maxfield. Can he get past? Well, the free kick has come out of it. Maxfield had the footy, but the umpire deemed that as a uh, ball that should come back to the player infringed against, which was Michael Gale. He goes short. Simons gets in the row. The lead was provided by Charles. Fletcher gets it to Wanganeen. Wanganeen doesn't mind running across the face of goal to try and set something up out of defence. Mercedes is marked. Goes short again. O'Donnell is marked. O'Donnell 50 metres from Richmond's goal. You feel that Essendon would be quite content here in just uh, retaining possession the way they're playing the last couple of minutes of the second term. And Alessio has marked the kick from James Hurd. Down under a minute left. Alessio kicks high and long to left half forward. The ball spills to the ground. Harvey helps it over for a throw-in. So with less than a minute left, Daffy comes off the ground. Nash goes back onto the playing field for Richmond. Picked up quickly by Grenvold. Gale at the back. Harvey can't get the ball clear. Eventually Broderick. Rogers. Handballs further forward. That, that boundary umpire, he's been overworked in the last couple of seconds. This would be about the fourth throw in his hat in much the same area. Right down in front of us on centre wing. 9-4 to 4-4, four, four, Essendon by 30 points. Dear Salmon. Now Doolan out of the uh, rut to half forward. Mercury, a quick kick. It was the way to go. Burke couldn't quite. Pryor with him. Turner. Richmond need to force it towards the line. Turner under pressure, kept in play. Burke under great pressure. Well done. Comes away from half back. Richmond running out of time and kicks it out of bounds on the fall. They're in trouble, the Tigers. They're only halfway through, but they're in a hole at the moment. It's pretty deep, too. Simons, inside 50. Somerville, Turner. Two, Salmon's got two, Denham's got two. Nice has got three for the Tigers. It's 9-4 Essendon over Richmond, 4-4.
Go out. Start of the second half, can the Tigers come back? They go to the left of screen. 4-4 four, four to 9-4. Four. Greg Deere and Somerville. Somerville won it comfortably to Cowthorville. It's held up by Broderick. Knight slung away in the centre. Free kick coming. It'll go to him. He was the outstanding player for Richmond in the opening half. Swings it wide to Daffy. Daffy with a high kick. He's kicked the ball very badly today, Daffy. Including one shot for goal. That is a waste out wide and out of play. Might sound hard, but... Uh, I agree with you, Bruce. I think if a player gets into the open like Nick Daffy did, then he's got to do a little bit better with his kick. Particularly when Matthew Knights has given it to you, and uh, he's kicking the footy so well. Gale in the uh, throw-in. Missed by Daffy. O'Donnell, just a little one over the top. Wanting Cowthorpe to run onto it or Doolan. Doolan back to O'Donnell. O'Donnell certainly beaten Campbell in their battle, and that one ricocheted away from Cowthorpe and out of play. Nine kicks, O'Donnell, three hand passes. Young Lloyd now on the interchange bench. You can see Mark Williams in the background with the headphones on and Shea Cockatoo Collins sitting in. And O'Connor and Young will be sitting out as well, both injured. Broderick trying to get clear. Campbell, kick across his left shoulder. Good round made by Rogers. Away to Maxfield. This could do something for Richmond's cause. The kick to the full forward area. It's taken by Charles. Watch this boy leap in the air if he kicks a goal. He can't. Hooks it too far. So the first score of the second half is a behind kick by Justin Charles and Richmond trail by 29 points. The kick in has been marked by Kelthorpe. Doesn't do a bad job, David Kelthorpe. Started on the bench. The short pass has been marked there by Mercury. Mercury goes out towards the wing. Knights over the top of Thompson. Knight slips the handball to Campbell, much to the uh, pleasure there of uh, Ross Glendinning, but that kick has been marked safely by Simons. He's able to run on, gets past his opponent, and then kicks out towards the centre of the ground, where it's taken by Mercedes. G. Essendon playing confident football now. Kelthorpe goes in towards full forward, Sam at his mark, and he's well within scoring distance. That's the way to do it, Just get possession off halfback, run straight through the middle, have players on the overlap, and then the pass coming to a leading forward, chest high. Which is not bad, is it? I mean, uh, Salmon obviously lapping this up. He could see Kelthorpe running beautifully from defence, and that pass was a beauty to Salmon. His kick two. So anything better than three goals in a final from Big Paul Salmon would be satisfactory. From Essendon's point of view, he gets underneath this kick a little bit and hooks it through for one behind. Two goals, one to the big fish. And the margin back to 30 points. We're still very early in proceedings in the third term. Big crowd at the MCG, and a lot of Richmond supporters looking for their team to make some sort of a resurgence in this second half. Roderick to Bond. Howard on the ground, and so is Prescott. The kick to centre wing. Tate was there with Alessio. Here's John Howard. Goes to ground, tries to paddle it through. Daffy makes some space at centre wing. Need to look and kick to Gale. Oh, well played, though, no by her. Just used his body on Gale. Goes away to Mercury. Breaks one tackle. Then goes on to centre half forward. Knights against the flow. Kellaway's done a good job at the back to Broderick. Broderick goes back to Howard. Does break one tackle. Gets to Bauer. It's heavy weather though for Richmond. That's a poor kick. Hurd gets it, takes it. Still not a touch for Brendan Gale. Heard at centre wing. Measures the kick to centre half forward. Alessio, the target, has a fair go at it. Broderick, little handball. Now Bond under pressure again. Not far free kick, surely to Bauer. He's got it at centre half back. Bauer for Richmond. Calthorpe just cribs a couple of metres. He's not actually on the mark. It's Mercury's on the mark on the edge of the centre square there. Bowers kick goes wide, finds Callaway. Callaway and left half back. Gale still can't get into the game. Two Richmond players fall over. And away goes Oloren 
Bradshaw gets it back to Doolan. Doolan runs and then kicks with tremendous definition to walk full forward. Gee, that makes it difficult for the defence. And a good interception provided by Hart. He's dragged off the football. Play allowed to go on. Campbell in a bit of trouble. Gets the handball away. Howard thundles it in front of himself over for a throw in. And right half forward for Essendon. Michael Gale coming off and be replaced up there by Nash. So he may be in a little bit of strife with that left leg fairly heavily strapped Michael Gale. Alessio and Howard. David and Goliath there gets it to Mercedes, squeezes one. Tate. It's going to go, decided not to. Keeps it low for Nace. Good kick actually. Nace away from Cowthorpe to half forward at the back Rogers. Charles goes to ground. Gets back to Rogers. Had to give a handball away. Roderick works it back. Gale. Short, good, good, oh, good kick to Burke, who dropped it and then gives it up. Simons, gee, the Tigers are in big trouble, aren't they? On a red short to Simons again. If they score a goal out of this Essendon, it's really going to hurt. Up to half forward, and Howard puts his tail out and takes the mark. He's only played two games of senior footy this year. Kicks in towards Gale. Oh, great mark. It was a very good mark by McCurry. Courageous. Heart of the centre square. Neat drop punt. Alessio had a couple of goes. Bauer can't quite break through. Ball ricochets away. Denham normally good in a situation like this. Gets it out. Harvey slings it around high. Richmond in the box seat. Tate. Oh, got it. Can play on quickly now, Robbo. Go to the far side where Broderick has made good position. Richmond must make something out of this. They've got clear possessions a couple of times. Gone forward and wasted it. Campbell marks in front of Mercury. Essendon player down behind the play. It looks as though it's Denham. Maybe just a foot problem. The kicker towards full forward. Knocked away from Brendan Gale by whom. He's a frustrated man, Brendan Gale. He just cannot get into this game. He's had just one kick. And we're into the third turn. That's Denham, the player that I was referring to. Just having a bit of trouble with his right boot. Campbell. Now McCurry. Back onto his right foot. Kicks it in the direction of Hurd. He's a very accomplished footballer as James Hurd. He directs play towards the centre. It goes over the top. Denham is there. Chipping in was Callaway. Down goes Harvey. Calthorpe to Alarinshaw. Alarinshaw makes it impossible for Turner. Puts it right onto the chest. Lace up for Salmon. He's 40 metres out directly in front. And the Tigers, a real battle in front of them. And those players we just saw quickly in the midfield there, Harvey, Denham, Kelford, their quick hands, just outstanding. Just the first option, instinctive stuff. All of a sudden you get a shot at goal. Salmon going through his uh, accepted ritual now, preparing for a shot at goal. He's kicked two goals, one, Paul Salmon. This will make the margin six goals. It'll be a big climb back. Well, Salmon's done the Tigers a favour. He's missed. Russell Morris, what's wrong with Michael Gale? Yes, Ro, a bit of wear and tear on the left knee and also the customary ice. So obviously they'll have to have a, the physio to look at it and see how it comes up after that, Robbo. So good luck to Michael Gale. Four, five, nine, six. Turner goes long, gets good distance. Deer the target. He flew with tape. Bond read it well. He's going to give it to Knights, decided not to. It's the correct decision. Then had to go away and hurt too good again. He's having a field day now after a slow start. Eight what marks, a... Bruce. Eight marks, gee. Yep. What a player. He does it so easily. Now, is this against Simons? No. No, got to go back over the mark. Hurt's kick was a beauty. Simons chips away. Essendon have played keepers off, haven't they? Quite a bit today. McCurry at centre half back. He goes out wide. Somerville in his 100th game. Salmon makes the lead now. Somerville kicks it towards Big Salmon. It was a big stretch. John Howard away. Just a floater. Not good. Straight to McCurry. It's not happening at all for it, uh, for Richmond. It is happening for the Bombers. Grenville. Doolan. Doolan's kick. Slews away. Not good. Take by Nash in the back pocket. Nash wide, good kick, that's better to Daffy. He makes it at half back. 
It's wasted a lot today, Daffy. Chips away for Charles. He's onto it. Fletcher easily gets rid of him. Then Fletcher runs into the boundary line and out of play. It's 9 6 Essendon, 4 5 Richmond. I think when we came in, we uh, we really did wonder about Richmond's ability to kick a big score. And Dennis Pagan, an interested on looker. And uh, it has just come to fruition. Richmond have just had lots and lots of problems kicking goals. Three of their four goals kicked by Matthew Knights. The ball towards half forward. Can Rogers get one? He's wobbled it, and it's wobbled through for a behind. Alessio comes off for Essendon. He looks OK. And replaced by young Matthew Lloyd. Five goals. Well, Richmond, just the mere fact that they haven't been buried and there's still a quarter and a half of football means that there's still some chance. Essendon have uh, pretty well controlled the game, but they lead 9-6 to 4-6. So, two quick goals to Richmond. And it could be an interesting last quarter. Struggle for possession out here on the wing. Simons does pretty well. Nearly kicked forward for Richmond. Still Michael Simons in the action. That's Jamie Tate. Just trying to force it forward rugby style. Denham gives the hand pass away. Wanganu kicks it high back towards the middle of the ground. The mark is taken by Somerville. That wasn't meant for Somerville, but he was there anyway. A high kick by that player will land close to centre-half forward. No one there for Essendon, and the mark is taken by Naish. Naish looks as though he may be having a run on the ball. His kick goes wide. This is Tate. Tate goes down the ground, kicks into the pocket. Fourth in line. That's nearly a mark, is it, to Justin Charles? Close to the ground. The umpire deems it as a ball up 50 metres from Richmond's goal. Gale to full back and Turner into the forward line. It's a fair point, Robbo, you made. Essendon didn't quite bury West Coast. They still won, but they couldn't kick a goal in the last quarter last week. Well, they are controlling the game, Bruce. But a quick couple would tighten it up. Charles from just outside 50. Rogers going to get a run at it. Simons cuts across. And out of play. What did they concede last week? I said just eight goals, I think, against West Correct. Coast. Yep. And they've only conceded four as Alessio sits it out with O'Connor. They've only conceded four as we're now deep into the third quarter. It's been a while since Richmond actually has kicked a goal. At the back, Daffy, free kick. At long last for the Tigers. Yeah, it's against Grenville. Just hung on for too long. This could be their opportunity, Bruce. There he is. The ball's gone in front of him. Hasn't got control of it. Just pulled by the left arm. Last goal they kicked was at the three-minute mark of the second quarter. Knights is uh, five bouncer. A beauty. Robo, as you just sat back on that, as Daffy kicks the goal. Well, you don't know, do you? I mean, there's still a long way to go, but it's only five goals to nine. Yes, and there's no question that they uh, can certainly get themselves right back into this game, but I just sense that Essen have still had control pretty much through the midfield as well, and every time Richmond have gone forward, even though some of the kicks coming from half back and through the midfield have been pretty poor, they really haven't anyone who's stood up and taken control. And Gale is now centre-half back on Salmon, who's moved out to centre-half forward. Daffy, the goal scorer for Richmond, their first since early in the second term. Tony Jewell... The expression on his face doesn't change much during a game of football, but that may have given them something to look forward to. Oh, away goes Matty Knights again from the square. It is a long kick, but it's been marked right on the line by Simons. He's able to run away, gives the hand pass to Fletcher. Fletcher kicks high. Just a little bit of flow by the Tigers. I mentioned two quick goals. If they get one out of this 4A forward and maybe just squeeze another one, this game is far from over. Rogers kick to the front of the square. Who can mark this? Campbell up high couldn't take the mark. She let it have brought the house down. Wayne Campbell, the favourite for the Brownlow medal. Kevin Sheedy in the background. Goes for the phone. Ruck contest in the pocket. Taken out of the air by Charles, is it? Now it's Turner. Richmond get the two goals that they were badly seeking. And it's just an 18-point game. 
Yes, I mean, he hasn't seen much of the footy today. Scotty Turner, that's his seventh kick. What a vital one, too. Grabbing this out of the throw in. Obviously, not a renowned goal scorer being a full back. That's his third for the season. No more important one than that one. Gee, if only they can get something out of Brendan Gale. Next five minutes will tell a tale, won't it? Because they're being challenged now, Essendon. Let's see them respond. 9666, Somerville. Knights has to concede. Gets the handle. They need a quick take. Well done, Daffy. It was a half volley under pressure. To centre wing, Maxwell didn't run hard enough. Wangenin did. Look at this. In trouble. Crunch by Deer. Play on. Campbell out of the centre. A wobbler. A floater. Oh, beautiful, Mark Under tremendous pressure, stood his ground and took a finger tipper. That was a class act. Heard from centre half back. Sam and the target. Well, in front of Gale and takes the mark. Paul Brennan hasn't been able to take a trick. Out wide. Tate and Massini. Tate, good fly. Ball goes to ground. He's outnumbered. Essendon, you can see they're putting the pressure on here. They know they must respond to take the life out of Richmond in a hurry. It's 9 6 to 6 6. 42 to 60. Michael Pryor. Just a handful of footy games. Can Richmond get another? Somerville. Daffy went to ground. Prescott was in there. And it's a bounce at about 45 metres. Essendon attacking. Yet to kick a goal in the second half, Essendon. And we have been playing 16, 17 minutes of this third quarter. They were scoreless in the final term when they won last week. Bowers' handball didn't go far enough. It goes off Masudi out of play. Boundary throw in. Some anxious uh, supporters watching. 45, 55 metres around from the Essendon goal. The ball spills to the back. They've been on to Campbell quickly today. That handball OK to Daffy. Daffy at half back. Kicks the ball to centre wing. Burke, he's had a quiet one. Broderick, normally good miss Maxfield. It was important. Now they cut it off. Turner gets it back. Maxfield out of sorts again. And Alessio well played. Still well played. Prescott puts the tackle on him. Knights, Campbell didn't get very far. O'Donnell's at the down behind play. Here's Campbell through the centre. Little one to centre half. Well, they weren't looking the time because he gave it up. Hit and shot, it was OK. It goes forward. Nash is a great finisher. He surely will kick the goal. He has! They're back! They're back in business. And the stretch is going out to O'Donnell too. And Michael Simon's got the good hip and shoulder from Maxfield. He's in a bit of trouble too at centre half back as we see O'Donnell down. Shoulder didn't see him coming, and he was crunched unceremoniously by Scotty Turner. But he's got a big heart. Have he a look again. Of... Gee whiz, it was a, a solid bump, wasn't it? As O'Donnell spun to follow the ball, Turner wiped him out. And O'Donnell will have a spell on the bench. Let's hope he recovers because he's just been one of Essendon's great players over a long period of time. Very much a ball player. Not saying anything against Scotty Turner. He kicked one of Richmond's goals, Scotty Turner, from the ruck contest. But O'Donnell goes down here. Just turns to follow the footy. Didn't see Turner coming. No chance to protect himself. And a terrific second quarter, O'Donnell, when he cut Campbell right out. Quite in this turn. Yeah, McCurry's now got Campbell. Has that for this quarter. Because they've got two injured players, Essendon, with Young and also O'Connor. And Simon's in trouble too, Bruce, from the shot he got from Maxfield. But I think O'Donnell, in the, in the context of Essendon's quest for the flag, let's hope he's OK, because if they can squeeze their way past this, he's such an important player to them, isn't he? Absolutely. I mean, you've seen him cut players out, but you've also seen him get heaps and heaps of posies. Russ, we have a situation where Essendon under pressure, no Michael Long, no Gary O'Donnell, and Kelpurk or Denham or something like that to spark them up. I mean, you'd say that Long and O'Donnell all being equal with their key 
Ruiz in the midfield. They went in without long and now O'Donnell's off. What a change in this game all of a sudden. on the ground, O'Donnell is having a spell on the bench, we'll wait for a, a report, he looks as though he may be alright, but gee that was a heavy knock, Greenvold misses it all together, kicked off the ground by Nay, she's been an important player turn it back to Daffy, they get one here have a listen to this, have a listen to this say before the game that they'd have to have Nash or Daffy to step up and kick three or four. And I tell you what, has got to one in this quarter now, Daffy two, make all the difference. Eight six to nine six. Three goals out of Nash and Daffy suddenly. A goal of the difference. Salmon's two misses suddenly become important, don't they? At the other end. Maxwell goes out of the centre, gets it to the 10 metres. Tigers in the front spot with Burke, comes away. Simon's under pressure, well played to Hurd. Hurd's kick will be good. It's very good to honour Inshaw at half back. Salmon could have put Essendon six goals in front from 40 metres early in the turn. Goes for it now. And Hurd runs it out. He's playing some sort of a game as Jimmy Hurd. They're going to get a free kick against too, him yeah. James Hurd kicked the ball away after it had been deemed out of bounds. Still playing. And he's flattened the bloke down the ground too. The umpire never saw it. Unbelievable. He was lucky there. That could have been nearly a goal shot. Knights kicks. Nash picks himself up. Turner go. Turner's been pretty good to Charles. Charles at 55. Goes short to Burke. He's got him. He's got the tip in the pocket. Too many goals this season, young Burke. In fact, just the one, Bruce. Just the one. Well, could he double the score here, Roscoe? And make it all square from the pocket. We are right behind it. 35 metres out. Coming back. No, it's a point. It was actually never going to get there. I was giving it a ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's a, what do you call that, a death wish in reverse? Giving it a ride. Yeah, good, Robert. Thompson, he's kicking towards the member's side of the ground. They're going to go forward again, no, a free kick. It's been paid against Richmond. It'll go to James Hurd. He's at right half back. Goes short. Doolan, you wouldn't reckon that they've got... Uh, that much control if they can play keepings off now, Essendon. Doolan's wobbly punt kick. Lands near the wing. And Nash just looks as though he's lifted his intensity. On oh, Orenshaw there. And Gary O'Donnell, dipper. Yeah, the good news is he's OK. The doctors are going through all the tests. And uh, the only thing is Essendon uh, has only got virtually one player to use, and that would be Gary O'Donnell if needed. Taken by Mercedes. Good tackle. Bowers, little kick. Daffy did well with the old round arm. Should give it to Maxfield. Will he take his man on? Actually, good kick in the end. Bouncing footy. Chance here. Rogers, not bad. Still in play. No, it's Went, out, Bruce. Out. Good call, Roscoe. It was close. It was a good move by Rogers. Bringing in with him. Back himself, yep. Three and a half minutes remaining. Greenfold in trouble. They're going down like nine pins, the Bombers. And that's his second heavy knock in half an hour, Greenfold. In the pocket, left full forward. Turner, slewed around, Rogers could take it. Bouncing ball in the pocket with uh, Thompson still in play. Rogers hit off it, going to ground Campbell on hands and knees. Little Gibb couldn't quite get it to Broderick, taken by Thompson. What drama here at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Thompson's kicked a half back. Alessio suddenly looks tired. Essendon's legs are a little weary all of a sudden. 
Daffy gets the handball away. Only as far as Harvey. Harvey out wide. They need a goal, the Bombers. Well played by Prescott. Prescott runs away. Gets it inside 50. It comes off. And Bond couldn't quite take it. On his hands and knees. But Richmond are at full throttle now. Grenvold in a bit of trouble. And that's another heavy bump provided by Scotty Turner. If he's done nothing apart from kick a goal. He's delivered two very heavy bumps on uh, Essendon players. Streaming through now Harvey to Wanganeen, or heard it was to Wanganeen. And then the kick has been marked by Simons. Simons in the middle of the ground. Can Essendon get a goal to finish off the third turn? No, not on this 4A board. It's chopped off by Jamie Tate. He can go short in the middle of the ground. Bauer goes short still to the middle of the ground. It's Maxfield. So they've suddenly got a few more options around the middle of Tigers. Maxfield, a long kick towards full forward. Burke in front couldn't take the mark. Swept out by Broderick. Now a chance for Justin Charles. Gets it to Daffy. Can he kick his third goal? The kick smothered off the boot. It rebounds back towards Harvey. He just has to slow down a little bit. Then he spots a player wide. It's Mercedes, and Mercedes is bar. He's not far away from the middle of the ground. Just a little bit of panic being shown now by Essendon. Mercedes kick to right half forward. Prescott up high. Effective punch. Kelthorpe was looking at maybe going off the ground. Knights. Little kick by Howard. Now a chance for McCurry. Tackle is Alessia. He got the footy all day. And the free kick will go to Big Greg Deer, and he did well. He just harassed and harassed and eventually got it. No one to kick to. Broderick is a long way down the ground on his own, but uh, Greg Deer will go shorter to the wing. Campbell, well done. Qualities of a real good player there. Under a bit of duress, he's had a fairly quiet day by Campbell's standards, just 12 possessions. But you just have to keep getting into the action and not give away any little advantage to the opposition. Campbell it is with the ball at left half back for Richmond. And then kicks it 55 metres towards goal. Gatherers by Daffy. Hell didn't have the football. James Hurd was the offender. But Daffy played it well. He has lifted his game. He's been asked to play on. He kicks it inside 50. Marking contest. Naish. Snapshot by Naish. He's coming around. dramatic turn of football this season? Not really, Bruce. And just uh, great admiration for Richmond. I said uh, at the beginning of that quarter, about 10 minutes in, I should say, that I thought Essendon was still controlling it. By gee, the surge by Richmond was just outstanding. That's what their persistence has been like all year. 
And nice and deffy, fantastic. And just the salmon misses. I know it's easy, but he had a couple of shots, didn't he, Salmon, from about 40 when they were cruising away. And a couple of hips and shoulders, O'Donnell and Dean Grenvold, copying them from uh, Scott Turner. As well, Robbo said. He did well, didn't he, Ross? Well, he went to centre half forward, kicked that goal out of the boundary throw, which is important, gave them the spark. Yeah. Laid off a couple of hips and shoulders and can make a difference. Well, it's a tight game, and those just a couple of little things like that can make a bit of difference. I mean, the quality player that O'Donnell is, he's of no good to Weston sitting on the bench. Well, what doesn't Campbell feel better with Pryor running along? Well, that's exactly it, Bruce. That's the point. Three quarter time, and the scores here are Richmond 9 7, Essendon 9 6. We start the final term of the semi-final between Richmond and Essendon. The first time in 51 years these two famous clubs have gone up against each other in a final. Grenville through the centre. Daffy's first kick. Richmond are a point in front. It was a goalless third term for Essendon. Here's Daffy. Spins and turns. 14th kick coming up. Gets it to 50. McCurry did well. Gave a little shove. On Burke and paved the way for Fletcher. We started a back pocket, McCurry, one of his better attacking players, Kevin Sheen, in the back half. Nash Lloyd. Nash will do well just to hold this up against the taller player. Nash paddles it towards the boundary line. Missed by Masiti. Lloyd goes back. Doolan in trouble. To Ola Renshaw. Ola Renshaw on the old left leg. Harvey and Tate. And out of play it's in the win. Tremendous transformation in 20 minutes of football. Remarkable the change in this game. Just the body language now by the Essendon players compared with earlier in the day. It's oh so different. And Richmond, who had no options at all, have suddenly got a few. Deer's quick kick. Daffy and Grenville. Lloyd went without it. Turner gets back. The 17-year-old Lloyd has a crack at it. Nay, she's been important in the second half. Runs away with a bounce. He's a fantastic kick for goal. He could do it. He's at 45, he goes and misses it to behind. 9-8 to 9-6. Richmond charging home here. 
Dennis Pagan made the point on talking footy. If you look at Michael Long, that North have kicked 40 more goals in Richmond in the final quarters this year. Well, Essendon have kicked about 20 more, Roscoe, when you look at the stats. But Richmond have got the momentum right now. They certainly have. Long time between drinks for Essendon too, Bruce. Uh, goalless in the third term. And still having a bit of a struggle at the start of the last quarter. Mercury. Got a chance here. Pryor in the middle. Goes long and direct. Good long kick by Pryor. Bounce all important. Gale met it. Heard hand pass. Salmon dragged to the ground. Sweeps it clear. Harvey taken by Simons. Simons across his left shoulder. Out of bounds on the full. Maybe there was a hand pass on. I think so, definitely, Robbo. Maybe his vision has disappeared under the pressure being provided by Richmond. The kick goes back towards the wing. Broderick, a key player. His left foot kick lands at half forward. Again, the bounce all important. Thompson made it his. Not able to gather. It's forced over. Justin Charles and Scotty Turner. Two of the taller Richmond players. Left half forward for Richmond. The Tigers lead 9-8 to 9-6. You wouldn't say as a spectacle. It has been a fantastic game of football. But as a contest, the people here are enthralled. Somerville over the top. Broderick tries to get it clear. He's got another chance. Handball. Rogers fumbles. Then knocks it clear. Maxfield leaves it behind. Goes after it. Tackled fiercely by Kelthorpe and Thompson. And the ball will be bounced 45 metres from Richmond's goal. Richmond trailed at half time by 30 points. They turned that around in the third term to lead at three quarter time by a point. Thompson again. Knights on the end of it. Oh, he bounced it. it as he was caught. He's holding the footy. Dillon's done a great job on him, Bruce. He really has. Dillon to Harvey. Harvey with a little one. He's usually very cool to Pryor. Pryor at centre wing. Essendon 9 6 to 9 8. Gets close to the man on his mark. Salmon on the end of it. Gale. Just a little caution. Salmon's taken a good one. At 55 metres, Salmon. Wants to get on with it quickly. He's got Alessio in the goal square. Killaway drops across to take the mark. That's going to be a key duel now. Killaway versus her. Prescott's kick. Campbell's got to panic. Can run away. One bounce. Two bounces. He's drawing his man to him and he kicks it towards centre wing. Charles got hold of Fletcher and it's out of play. Right in front of Seven Sports commentary box here. We've got the best view of the MCG. O'Connor... And O'Donnell look on. Will O'Donnell come back? It will be a big call by Sheedy. Fletcher's left hand handle not good. Bond courageously. The hip and shoulder was fair. They're in trouble, both of them. Denham, they are in trouble. As a bounce to the ball. Look at this. Bond and Fletcher just behind these two. At sixes might, and seven. Fletcher might have come off uh, second best here. It was very fair. Bond's picked himself up. Fletcher's still in the bit of strife. Remember, Essendon's got a litany of injuries at the moment. And Bond shakes himself clear. Another look at this uh, hip and shoulder from the two of them. Gee, it was terrific, wasn't it? Great football. Pryor. Oh, that was too high, Maxfield. Too fierce. And Pryor. Fletcher just leaving the scene in the hands of the, one of the trainers. The kick is short. Very short. Spills to the back. The CD try to break clear. Having no luck there. Tigers, you get the feeling. They can sense victory. You also get the feeling there won't be a lot of goals kicked. Well, they were looking down the barrel at half-time. And Fletcher now looks as though he may have recovered. Essendon with two players on the bench suffering. Barry Young, well, three actually. Barry Young, Ryan O'Connor. And, of course, O'Donnell, who was decked quite heavily by Turner in the third quarter. Still at uh, centre wing, Heard lays it out. Prescott came on at half-time. Knights, high ball into the centre. Rogers, couple of Essendon players. Thompson, Daffy got a little bit of it. McCurry's handball, good to Cowthorpe. Inside 50, Essendon. Gale can't take the trick still, but did well to get in front. Kellaway, look at this. Maxfield 
He's got Rogers in support. He could have gone on. Goes long. Burke and Turner, their chances. Punch away. Who are the crummers? Fletcher's picked himself up well. He fell over. Harvey can't quite break it. Richmond have got a wonderful chance here. Broderick, here's a go. Rogers misses to behind. 9-9 to 9-6. I just feel that one goal either way will make such a sweeping difference in this game. They're certainly running better in numbers. Their preparedness to get up and assist teammates is much better, better than Essendon at the moment. The kick in is to Harvey. Harvey can go down the wing. This kick is very, very important. And he does, with precision, find the captain. Bomber Thompson. Short kick. Goes over the back. Oliver Inshaw is the advantage there. It is. Now the umpire's called it. No. Oliver Inshaw not a wake up to it. And it comes back to Alessio. Goes in short. Towards the middle of the ground. It's Doolan. He's got a player that he could have nearly given the hand pass to. Which was Thompson. But kicks it high. And Chris Nash is marked at left half back for the Tigers. Well, gee whiz, what's that all about? no penalty because it didn't hold play up all that much so Nash eventually kicks high towards the wing Harvey up over the top of Turner and interferes with the Richmond player in his endeavours to try and spoil Turner with the free kick he's right on the wing Richmond lead by three points they're 9-9 nine, nine to 9-6 nine, oh good mark strong mark big strong man and that's what you'd expect from some of them he goes wide now has to go back, Robert. Is that uh, a little bit pedantic, Roscoe? I think so. It's umpire Greg's group, I think, officiating yes. there, and uh, he's asked Peter Summerhall to come back and do it all again. Now there's no one on the mark. He's going to say he's going to come back. There's no one standing on the mark. The umpire's showing him where it is. Now we can start. He can still go to Harvey, but goes longer. Lands near centre half forward. Spills to the back. Callaway has been a grand defender. He's kick across his right shoulder. Out there into the path there of Bond. The bounce was kind to Chris Bond. He gets back onto his right foot. Now he kicks in towards the centre of the ground. Prescott has taken the mark. He's had a few important possessions. His kick has been very well marked by some of it. You still think, well, maybe Roscoe, that uh, those big fellas for Essendon are going to be like the key difference. in the finish. Yep. Pryor gets through some heavy traffic and then kicks towards the full forward area. Taken by Alessio. Makes a contest again. Kelthorpe crashes his way through. He's tackled. Well done by Jamie Tate. Stand up, son. And he did. The tackle was so important. He's a good player, this boy. He kicks wide to right half back. It's taken by Broderick. Broderick keeps it wide to Deer. Gets it, the big man. Burke leads for him. Deer kicks to Burke. Gets him. Good play. Three neat passes by Richmond. Should keep it, maybe, in the pocket, I reckon. Campbell's the kick. Goes towards him. He could take this. Well done, Pryor. Maxfield, Campbell, out of play. But it's at 50. No goals kicked in this final term. We've been playing just over 10 minutes. Essendon has not kicked a goal in the second half. Remember, they didn't kick a goal in the last quarter last week. Charles to the goal square. In front. Rogers has got it. Hey Bruce, I think you're very right with the body language comment you made before. There's no question the Richmond players look. The chins are up. They look more assertive. There's a few hands on hips from Essendon players looking fairly tired. It's been all right, Rogers. 11 and 7. This to give Richmond a nine point lead. They trail by 30 at half time. They hit the front for the first time in the match late in the third quarter. Rogers from 15 metres out lines them up and kicks a goal. <laughs> Suddenly, nine points seems like a mighty big margin. Particularly when you haven't scored for so long from Essendon's point of view. Goal since half time, as we mentioned, and it's good work by Charles to get the ball out of the air quickly and put it forward. I said before in the first quarter, Essendon got a goal in a similar situation, and Bomber Tops just got caught out there. So, a 
certain amount of concern now in the Essendon coach's box. And uh, nothing changes. The leading side is Richmond, but not much uh, animation from their coach, John Northey. Crashing through is Daffy. If he didn't get a rocket at half-time... Oh, go back, Justin Charles. Nearly took it against the flow. Maxfield kicks it across the face. Rogers again. How the Dickens did Maxfield keep the ball in? It was great effort. A great effort by Charles, too, just to go back and make the contest. He missed the mark. He was assistant in keeping the ball in the air, and that kick by Maxwell, as Robbo said, just outstanding. Well, out of position was Bomber Thompson, but I don't think there'd be two more crucial kicks in the football season this year than the previous one by Matthew Rogers and this one coming up. We kicked two last week, Robbo. He has been a good player also for Richmond since crossing from South Australia. He's kicking from 15 metres out. He makes no mistake. The Tiger fans are pretty happy about that. Two goals to Rogers. And after Matthew Knight's kicked three of their first four, doubles have come from Rogers, Nash and Daffy. There's no question. that There's that attempted mark by Charles, which is so important in not allowing Fletcher a chance to get the ball. That centering kick by Maxfield, very good. He's been... Pretty effective since coming on. Started on the bench. This is what Richmond will be like all year. Their persistence. And perhaps not given enough credit for me able to do it all year. The Tigers have kicked the last seven goals in this match. Essendon now lead three to win. Heard got it to Dula. They need one in a hurry. Heard's little one over the top to Cowthorpe. Try to tap on. Wanganina was brilliant early. Heard again. He's going to get a free kick. It looked lucky. Centre breaks 13, Richmond. Five, Essendon. You reckon who's the man, Ross? If anyone can turn it around, he is the one. At 70 metres. High ball to full forward. Seven up. Howard punches it towards the boundary line. It's out of play. And the has been their best player, Bruce. 15 kicks, nine marks, six handballs. Particularly when he's in defence, very good. But hasn't kicked a goal and needs one, doesn't he? And it's to be noted, Bond, one of the very important Richmond taggers, has got Wanganin in the middle of the ground. Alessio in the front spot, tried to lay it down. Prior caught by Naish. And Naish and Daffy have been so important, haven't they, in this second half revival. Free kick to Richmond, going to Naish. They were both so disappointing in the opening half. As Robbo said, wouldn't Daffy have got a rocket? So would Nash have. 88,308. It's the second biggest crowd for the season. McCurry's got it at centre wing. Well, Essendon need to get a goal quickly. McCurry's kicked to half forward. No mark. Tapers there. And now a free kick being held on to was Howard. He clears the pack at centre half back. Goes wide to Prescott. Prescott goes in towards the centre. Not bad vision. He was going to blast away. Then found Daffy. Daffy to half forward. And a chance again. Turner, make a hero of yourself. Well, he is left lamenting along with 40-odd uh, thousand other Richmond fans. Better get move that. Turn it to the centre half forward, Robo. Well, they really were struggling, Ross, weren't yes. they? I mean, uh, Swooper really had to toss it all around and hope that he came up with a, uh, a solution. Kelthorpe has got the football for Essendon. Looks to play on. Then does. You're gone, Denham. You're still gone. Richmond will get clear. Campbell. No, Denham nearly made amends. Kelthorpe. Bauer. Campbell. Rogers. A long bomb to the square. At the back, Maxfield. A high flyer. He's still got a chance. Maxfield. Kick it off the ground, Justin. Couldn't get his foot to it. And it's a rush behind of the Tigers. Well, it's certainly been a tremendous struggle. 11-11 to 9-6. Only 20 goals scored in modern football so far. Could you believe it, Robbo, that Essendon has not kicked a goal in the second half? Well, they really have struggled. I, I think it's been uh, Richmond's middle-of-the-ground players that have certainly help the Tigers. Heard to Grenville. They need three goals to win Essendon. Where will they get them from? Howard. He 
In trouble. Threw it away. They might get it from this. Simons at centre half forward. Go short. Alessio's got it. Well, how it was caught. Now it's his man that's got the footy. Alessio, very important early, kicked two goals in the second quarter when things were happening. This to give Essendon a chance. This to be their first goal since half time. They must kick this to win the game. They can't win if he misses, I reckon. It's close. Hit the post. Hit the, Hit the post. post. They've got seven and a half minutes to kick three. Well, you wouldn't think they could do it. I mean, Richmond's defence has been, uh, well, I think quite sensational throughout the year. A lot of their players have stood up under pressure. They kicked three points from half time, set shots from Salmon, Salmon, and Alessio. That's been their three scores since half time. Kick in by Bauer. Uh, kick in was marked by Bauer, then to Campbell. Or oh, Tate. Is he going to get a free kick? Yes. yes. Just pushed out at the last minute. So everything happening now for Richmond. They're in front by 16 points. Kick by Tate will land 50 metres out. Good grab. The effervescent Charles. He's nearly 60 metres from goal, but he'll land it nearly in the square. this one. Somerville through the centre. Out wide. Oliver Inshaw at 55 metres. Good kick. A chance. A well played Gale. Has he been paid? No. Seven ripped off it. Gale gets a kick away. He hasn't had too many today. Straight to Lloyd. Essendon have got six minutes to kick four goals. Lloyd goes long. That's one. That's one of them now. Since half time, the 17 year olds kicked it. Well, there is time for them to get the rest. So important they get the next centre break if they're going to be a chance here. But the defence, what you mentioned before, of Richmond really has been so very good all year. Today they have stood up, particularly when we didn't think they could match up those tall players like Sam and Alessio and Co. and Heard if he was down there. They've done it pretty well. It's not a bad kick by Young Lloyd either. He struggled early with his kicking. Richmond nearly get it forward, Daffy, but this is Harvey. Harvey's left foot kick. Lands, well done, Gale. Made it his. Still a chance for Essendon. McCurry beaten for it this time by Prescott. Gives away a little bit of ground back to Callaway. Callaway out towards the wing. Chris Bond is back. Goes in short. Taken by Howard. He won't make the same mistake as he did a few minutes ago. His kick is wide. Taken by Nash. Nash is between wing and left half forward. Good running by Bond. Goes short, Bond's got it back again. 11 kicks, four handballs to Bond, and two tackles. Long kick by Bond, lands at the point of the square. High flyer there was Burke, he couldn't take the mark, it's forced over on the full eventually. And the free kick will be taken in the right back pocket, O'Donnell warming up. You wouldn't think he'd come back into this uh, Hot house. This is Kelthorpe with the footy. Short to Mercedes. 12 11 to 10 7. Five minutes of football left for Essendon. Or maybe Richmond, but you'd think it was Essendon. They've got to conjure some magic. Denham has been quiet since half time. He and Knights played on one another early and played such a significant role. They were two of the key men in the first half. Denham's kicked the centre wing. Alessio gets it on now. It's still at half forward, a long way from goal. Lloyd front spot. With him is Tate. Knights to try and mop up. 
Hasn't had a lot of kicks, but he kicked three goals that were unforgettable in the first half. That's a wonderful kick to Bond. Richmond aren't going like winners. Bond at centre wing. Turn of the target. Grenvold with him. And Turner so competitive in the forward line. Gets a free kick. Hanging on. And as Rosklin Jennings said, this man has been one of the big reasons for the turnaround. Two goals in the second half. Turner from 60 metres. Tries a torpedo. It lands almost in the square. Fletch at the back. Nature's handle. Daffy's left foot snap. Bouncing. It's a behind. It's 12 12 to 10 7. Daffy has had 15 kicks in the second half. Yes, and Nace has had 11. And they've got four goals between them. Correct. So some bad uh, signs for Essendon. When Lloyd got the ball on the half forward line just a few minutes ago, he was one against three. McCurry gets around Rogers. Thompson quickly. Harvey caught by Bauer. Gets it away only as far as Knights. Underneath there is the football. Now it's a throw deemed by the umpire against Knights. Doolan to Denham. Denham in the direction of Alessio, but Howard outbusses him and has marked safely at centre half back. He can go wide. Perhaps the shorter option would have been better to take, but he finds Nash wide of Simons. Now take. Keep going, and he does. Receives the hand pass and then goes short to half forward. Charles couldn't take the mark. This is Wanganoon. Gives away a little bit of ground. Denham. In turn, Fletcher. A heavy bump between him and Bond earlier. Mark again to Howard. He's been reasonable since coming on the ground. He's had five kicks and one handball. He finds Nash. Nash is on the wing. It's a good move by John Northern. He'll let Nash roam a bit when he brought him back on. He got him into the game. And he and Daffy have been huge in the second half. Ross giving out their uh, stats a moment ago. At centre wing, Nash goes for distance. The Richmond chant goes around the ground. Somerville takes the mark. Sweeps out the handball to Simons, who's had a bad game. Just hasn't been able to fire today. Came back from injury last week. Gives it away to Nash. He can really kill it here, Nash. This will be sweet if he can go. He hooked it with everything and kicks a point. But it's a three-goal game. Nash with two goals, two. 12-13 to 10-7. And Richmond will be playing Geelong at Waverley Park next Saturday afternoon. And Eston, who led by five goals at half-time, will be mothballs for this year. Knights, little kick, quite prepared to waste a bit of time and give an extra possession to the Brownlow middle favourite, Campbell. Campbell is uh, not quite up to half forward. He's about 75 metres from goal. He doesn't mind. His team leads by three goals. He kicks across the ground and finds Bauer. Bauer will go long. It'll land in the square. Who can make a hero of themselves here? Somerville to no one in particular. Daffy crashes past Simons. Daffy! Snapshot misses to the right. Daffy, two goals, one. And the Richmond fans are pretty happy. The Bomber fans will go home from the MCG today wondering what happened in the second half. As the scarves and come out and being waved around. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it, how yep. it comes back to haunt you. Still a struggle by Essendon. Harvey, Hurd, chopped off. Denham, wider still, prior. In turn, McCurry in all sorts of trouble. Terrific signs for Richmond when two or three players go into a prior tackle. And little wonder because they can sense that their surge will go another week forward where Geelong will be their opponents in the preliminary final. Just one week away now, Richmond, from a potential grand final appearance. Oh, Brendan Gale, left foot kick. Bond and Lloyd. The ball goes over for a throw. -in. This will be the first time Richmond has won a final since the second semi-final 13 years ago. It is a long time for fans to wait for a win in the final. 
13 years have waited to win the finals match. She's great for the competition, Bruce. A little give by Mercedes to Mercury. At 50. Mercury to bomb away. A late incident goal, maybe. He's got it, I think. It's there. But it is an anti climax. Mercury second goal. 12 14 to 11 to 7. He's had a pretty good day, Bruce. 16 kicks, 10 marks, 7 handballs, and now his second goal. He's continued on his good form from last week. He's played all over the ground today, predominantly in the Ford area last week. Even started in a back pocket in this last quarter. Due reward for good effort. It's Bruce. Been Another point, too, that uh, Richmond and Carlton played an old Buffers game at uh, Windy Hill to try and keep them in the competition a couple of years ago. Dead right, 12-14 to 11-7. Jack Dyer coming out here to raise that money that day, leading from the front. Free kick against Essendon, and they're done at the Tigers! against West Coast. Charles just keep persisting and keep running. Play on at all costs and we eventually run them off the legs. Like three fantastic goals in the first half this summer. Couple of chances. Yeah. yeah, I tried to get the boys going a bit, a bit of inspiration in the first half and I'm just lucky it paid off. So go for the boys and social staff. Thank you. Matthew Knights with Russell Morris, Sindon. Well, they gave it their all but so did this team here. Time they're in the finals is 1982. Some of the leaves were burned. Like the Tigers of old, we're their bowl. You know? We never get into the final siren sounds. Now, how typical was that of that Richmond performance? They were gone. Yeah. Six goals behind all the This has got to be one of the great days in Richmond's history. It's not a premiership, I know. But had they gone out in straight sense and lost by six or seven today, a lot of the good work during the year would have just dissipated towards the end. They have got so much to take to Waverley next week. And there's still the sceptics today, Bruce, wasn't there? I mean, there were still people saying, were they good enough? I mean, I even thought today, the early part, here we go. Yes! Yeah. 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 How 
good is it on Fox Footy at the moment? From Thursday night through to Sunday night, everyone gets to see their team mm. win a game of football. And whilst I love watching a winning match, mm. it's the Essendon losses that I want to see more <laughs> of. But unfortunately, we don't always get what we want. Uh, what I can do is welcome you to another very special edition of Bounce and three superstars ready to charm their way into your hearts. Andrew Gaze, Cameron Mooney and Shani Layden. Good Thank everybody. you. Thank you, Great to be here, everybody. Now, we've done a lot of replayed games and, and some recalls, and I reckon out of all of them, one of my favourites, without a shadow of a doubt, mm. was that 1994, round seven, yep. St Kilda v Sydney, Plugger. at the G, it just went off, because you have to understand...